Hola. It says we're live. I'm a hot mess today. Excuse it. Um, so I'm going to go get the stuff out of my car because I went to Goodwill today. So let's see what I got. Oh, crap. I got to open the chat. Hold on. File new window youtube.com minimize the screen so you can have two open at one time let's see here it takes just a few minutes for people to get the notification of course um, ba -bum, ba -bum. I am lazy today we went to the Breaking Benjamin concert last night and it was fun, but I am exhausted today. Such a bummer to go to a concert in the middle of the week. Like not a Friday or a Saturday. Mm hmm Okay. So. Trying to find it. Ooh. Yeah, I look a hot mess. At least I feel like it. Okay, how are you guys today? Anybody go shopping? Like more? I think I only spent like 27 bucks. Did better than the past couple days, I would say. Okay, be right back. Gonna mute this phone. Okay. It's not far. Not at all. Mm Okay. Ooh, I need to list those quilts we got. So here's one big bag. Whew, a lot of stuff. I just spilled water on it just now from outside. So I got like two bags. I went to an estate sale too and spent $21. Okay, so we got this cute little canvas bag by Isabel and Chloe. It's canvas. <laughs> this is so funny. We'll go into the details of everything, but this is a huge, hopefully a universal remote. I'm going to give this to like my stepdad because he's getting older and older and his eyesight gets worse and worse. So... I think he will love that. Anybody know how it works? Here I am. Here I am. 
oh, I don't know what I want to be for Halloween, but I did get a Halloween costume today. Here's another bag. Hola, hola. Well, I got the chat open. I can't see it. Hold on. Can't even see it. There it is. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, I have two things I'm going to show you guys at the estate sale. Let me grab it. So happy. can't wait to show you guys, which I'm sure it cost more than I spent for it. Get this silly chair. Like, oh my god, what is this girl doing? Yes. So I bought this clothes rack for 15 bucks. I have one rack, and I'm pretty sure it cost me about 40 to 50 bucks. And it's just a single row. Um, I do like this one. It's not too wobbly, and I think I have so much stuff that it'll work pretty good. So I got this for $15 at the estate sale. Does this raise up? Huh, it's got these latches here. I don't know. Maybe it just locks it in place. And then I got one more, and it was only 5 bucks. Watch. There. Another one's right here. Okay. I'm gonna kill myself with it. Okay. And then, ta-da! It needs to be clean, but I got this for five bucks. It's a metal one. Um, it's really lightweight, you guys. It's like a thin metal. Um, but yeah, five bucks. They had a bunch of these, and some were taller. Um, so this is gonna hold my tubs. When I fill up the, the um, baskets or whatever. Okay, now I'm out of breath as always. Check it out. I washed the backpack if any of you watched my haul from yesterday. The Victoria's Secret pink backpack. Um, it came out pretty clean. Really nice. It's a really large, long, like, camping backpack. I don't know, it has a little bit of dirt staining right there, but you can't even hardly see it. Um, but yeah, I think this, it cost me like a dollar, and I'm going to flip this probably for over 20 bucks. I haven't even looked at the comps yet, but there's like um, no holes or anything, so straighten that out. Pretty cool. Can't wait to listen on Poshmark. So. Let's get into it. I'm having a smoothie today and it has peanut butter in it, so, and protein. Does it have the name? Yeah, Tropical Smoothie. Yummy. I found a LuLaRoe piece today and I had no idea it was LuLaRoe. I was about to throw it back because it's a skirt. We'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, so this is super funny. Love it. It's a huge oversized remote. I wish I had found this brand new and could have given it as a Christmas gift to my stepdad and my mom. 
because they just they both wear glasses now. Um, this uh, is in perfect condition, and these things cost you know over six bucks, if not ten to twenty, even on certain ones. Um, I could not resist getting this, and it weighs nothing, so I got it. Didn't know if I would decorate with it, or even if I don't use it, I could sell it in a garage sale. Look at this cute canvas bag. There is something super special about this canvas bag. Not just the fact that it's brand new. Um, it's made by a famous designer brand. Are y'all ready? Super cool. Just the brand alone. And look, it's still got the plastic on it. It's Tory Burch. Just a little dust bag, I guess. What is this for? Anybody know? I'm sure I'll look it up on Poshmark and I'll see exact same ones. And it will help me to describe it better when I list it on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, brand new. Nothing wrong with it. Tory Burch. Really good quality, too. You can tell it's not a fake because it's a really nice canvas bag. So that is also super fun. Not sure what it'll bring. So we have a purple one of these, or a pink one, and I couldn't resist getting the blue guy from the Troll movie. So that's for the kiddos. And then my son is 11, and then I have a five-year-old. But my 11-year-old went through a phase, and he loved these animal bracelets and design bracelets. And I found a whole bag of them. Like, not in the original bag, but just some plastic bag that they had put them in. Well, I just poured it in that Tory Burch bag and weighed all of these for, like, 5 or 10 cents. So, my kids will be happy to see those. Maybe. Look at that. that. These are sunglasses, I guess. And you can turn it into like a ring. Or you can turn these into bracelets. Like this one's a lip. I mean, they're all different shapes and everything. Like this looks like a bear or something. I don't know. So whatever that is. So what I also threw in the Tory Burch bag was these cute um i they had the original box but it was damaged so i threw the box back but these are tablecloth weights i've never really seen anybody use these they're very interesting they're kind of heavy so they're really good quality they're not i can get this one untangled they're not like super cheap but you hang these on a tablecloth on each corner to keep the tablecloth down. Isn't that nifty? And there's four of them. So, yeah. I thought it was super cute. I could not resist these, you guys. Super cool. So I got those. <clears throat> got, like I said, I got this canvas bag. I guess it's like a makeup travel bag. Um does need to be wiped off that little dirt stain right by the name logo but I'm pretty sure this is a good brand and it's in really good condition so I do have some stuff in here Ooh, I threw something in here cool this had the original box too but of course I'm cheap I didn't want the box I just took the bubble wrap the instructions and what it is it's just a glass hummingbird feeder and I did inspect it in the store it's brand new it's really pretty so it's got the hummingbird stick I guess I have to pop it out somehow I don't know so that's why I got the um, instructions for it very nice it's super cool my mom is a huge like bird watcher um, and she has a lot of plants and stuff outside, so she, I think she might like this. I might break at my house, especially with my kids. I could give that as a, probably a, um, gift to her, too, you guys. Like, maybe, um, put it in a gift bag for Christmas or something like that. 
her birthday's not till June. So, okay, so that's this bag. I mean, it's almost like they never used it. Someone wrote a $3 marker label in there, but that will probably come off with um, some kind of scrubbing. So I'll get that off if the profit is worth it. Okay, so that's some hard goods. Yes. And then shoes and clothes. Y'all ready to go shopping with me through my bags? That peanut butter is a little much. Okay, I don't, I'm not a Celtics fan, but it kind of seemed vintage and it was really good quality. It's not paper. Um, it's a Celtics fan parking only. So I'm not sure if this is worth it to sell online. The shipping may be pretty expensive because this is pretty tall. Not sure what I would ship this in, but let me see. Yeah, it wouldn't fit in the priority bag at all. It's bigger than your normal shipping label. Um, I don't know, even Craigslist or like sell it on my new Facebook and Instagram accounts, maybe it'll sell that way. I don't know. Okay, shoes. Let's see. I'm trying not to get so many shoes right now because I do have a bunch. So, um, these don't sell for too much, but they are a super good brand. <clears throat> Some brown uh, Michael, Michael Kors, Michael, Michael Kors. Can't even remember which one sells for more. The toes are a little bit worn, but not too bad, right? Not too shabby. Um, so I got those two bucks. Heels are in pretty decent condition. That looks like some mud right there. Um, so got those. Found some Birkin Burks or Birkin. What is it called? I wouldn't know. Birkenstock. Um, but these are like ugh, the clogs. They do need to have a little bit of red um, leather polishing on the toes a little bit, but these are a score. This will probably pay for my whole haul today. Um, so my haul today was about 27 bucks. Again, um, these are a total freaking score. What's even better is that these are more for the fall or winter. So I bet these sell quicker than my sandals. I have, I think, a little girl pair of sandals listed recently. And oh, I'm not getting any hits, you guys. I guess because, like, summer's over. Look at these shoes. Do you see these shoes? Aren't they the cutest shoes ever? They're all blinged out. But, unfortunately, they are missing some jewels. But these jewels are, like, the most common, basic, plastic, cheap jewels that, I mean, it seems like anybody would have. And you could probably purchase them online. Um, I totally picked these shoes up. They've never even been worn. It's so crazy. Let's see, where's the scissors? Let's cut these bad boys. I see my scissors, but I see this old, um, look at these shoes. Oh, these are so cool. I looked them up on eBay and I really didn't look too hard, but I didn't see any that were like these, you guys. And I'm not sure if the company embellished these or if someone did them themselves. These are like so trippy. Like Cinderella shit, right? Um, let's see here. Let me show you guys where it's missing some. Look how pretty. Hey, yard sale lover. Do you see these shoes? Are they not the coolest? Like, so here's one jewel that's missing. 
Guys, these have never been worn. And they're a really good genuine leather um, shoe, I think. Yeah. So they're Jinzi, J-I-N-Z-I. Like so. Made in China. Um, but they're a really nice shoe. They're not like a Payless shoe for sure. So, size 41. Look at the heel, like they've never been rough scruffed. So one of the jewels is popping off right now. That's a bummer. I can fix that. I only saw that one that's loose. Um, but yeah, these are the cheap, common plastic jewels. I think that somebody would love to fix these, even with the flaws that they have. So this one looks like it's only missing one. And it looks like it would be a circle jewel. And then this one's missing like two, I think, the big ones. You can't see them, can you? Oh, there they are, these two right here. So a circle and then maybe like an oval one. See the ovals? The jewel diamond one. Um, yeah. Pretty slick, right? It's like they've never been worn. Love them. Pretty cool. I thought so. I wonder what size they fit. Like it says it's a 41, but that's a really big size, but they don't look that big. Oh yeah, they are. Woo woo! Look at you guys. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh man, so pretty. I couldn't, I couldn't put them back. Two bucks. Does anybody think I'm crazy? Just a little bit, maybe a lot. Okay, so. <clears throat> I, um, some of my Toms on Poshmark, they just sit for a while, and if they do sell, they only sell for like 10 or 12 bucks, um, but I, I did list a pair of purple ombre, come on, this is like the oldest blade ever, I don't even know why I have this blade on here. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. It's the most terrible thing ever. Like, why am I even using this? Just throw it away. Um, so I found these really good condition. So ombre, again, I always explain it to people because I did not know. And some girls taught me. It's where uh, the color fades into other colors. Like rainbow effect, kind of. Um, so it fades like this is dark and lighter and then it goes into another called that's called a bloody mary blade <laughs> is that what that's called it's hilarious um yeah so a wide nine toms are always good there was no holes so totally pick these bad boys up for two bucks super cute down there that whole freaking basket from yesterday still sitting there with stuff I need to list and those comfort blankets my bloody mary blade I had a bloody mary to drink yesterday I don't know why I love I guess because we're eating more plant-based foods I've just been craving bloody mary's a lot we even bought the mixes for the house to have Bloody Marys at home. It's so delicious. Um, so I did look these up, you guys. And these are hot sellers. They sell for like $25, $30. Um, oh, because it makes you bleed fast. Hmm, I didn't know that. The blade? Hmm, okay. Are you talking about just the rusty part or just the blade even if it wasn't rusty? I was thinking you were saying that because it was rusted. Mmm, yeah. Bloody Marys remind me of my stepdad because he always got them when I was a kid. And he'd let me have like a little, little sip just to taste it. 
and it was okay. Um, so this brand is Dansko. It's pretty dirty right there. Um, but this shoe, again, they do sell for like 30 bucks around that. So, okay, yeah, they break easily. Gotcha, the blade. Um, size 37. So, again, I paid two bucks for those. And that's all the shoes. So we're done with those. We got trash bags galore. Okay, we're gonna go through one more bag of hard goods. You sell those shoes for twenty nine ninety five to forty nine ninety five. Yeah, they're awesome shoes. I've never really picked them up before. They remind me of uh, doctor shoes or nurses. I think a lot of nurses wear them. Um, if you guys watch my hauls, you may know that I've bought a Llama Llama book recently before and did a haul on it. We got one from school and we read it and my kid loved it. He wanted to read it more than once. So I've picked one of these up before and then here's another one. A Llama Llama Mrs. Mama. So there's, there's that one. They are nurses' shoes. Yes, yes. Okay, here's the Bernstein Bears. This one's in better condition. Get the gimmies. And this isn't the one I've been looking for that has the gumballs in it, unfortunately. I'm still on the hunt for the Bernstein Bears where she has gumballs everywhere in her. She's on the floor with them, I think. I don't know. Something like that. Okay, there's that book. Oh, look, this lady had this in her cart, and I was telling you guys about a story yesterday. I was telling you how I touched someone's shoes, some heels in their cart, and they came back shortly after, and they were like, here, do you want them? And I was like, um, yeah, I, I guess I'll take them. Um, so this lady had this in her cart. And I was like, oh, that's cute, because, you know, I decorate houses and when I sell them. Um, and so this is just from Francesca's. I guess someone got it on clearance, maybe. It was originally 8 bucks. It's a solid wood. Mr. Wright, super cute. Love decorating. I almost threw this back, but I plan on getting my kids some kind of, uh, like, animal or pet in a cage i know that sounds terrible but i don't know i just want them to have like a gerbil or something look that has a turtle in there what the heck there's a turtle inside the plastic turtle inside the animal bottle so that's a gerbil bottle uh, i think you were thinking about her playing with marbles i remember the book yeah, and I, I don't know why I'm thinking it was gum, but I think it's marbles. But I think I've seen one that she they had marbles, and it wasn't the one I was looking for. I swear I think it's the Bernstein Bears with her playing with gumballs. I can't, I don't know. It drives me crazy because I keep finding Bernstein Bear books, and never do I find the book I'm looking for. Um, so I don't know why I got this because I've been using shoe glue shoe goo this stuff right here you guys no not a real turtle i know i felt like i was saying that casey lakeman thanks for coming by um <laughs> is that that's why i held it up to the camera it's like a little plastic turtle um inside there um but yeah i patched all my inner tubes for the water like swimming this summer with this shoe goo and i'd never known it but i youtubed how to patch um the inner tubes and this is what I came up with uh, this awesome shoe goo it's pretty adhesive for anything really um, it's basically a glue I used it to put a magnet on the back of one of my cute little flowers but I got this brand new PVC I don't know peel and stick patches for inflatables it's like new in the box I thought it was cool because it had the little um, closing box it's Stupid purchase, but probably cost me change. Okay, y'all ready? I have some cool toys. Hey, Georgia Parker, where do you get it? Oh, from Walmart, Casey. 
Walmart. Yeah, it was on the end cap, and it's like three fifty. It's amazing. Um, you know, like the air mattresses when we go camping, we we don't have RVs. We're not that rich yet. We will be right um, <laughs> one day. Anyways, um, I felt like we had to patch our air tube, but I don't know if I ever did find a hole in it. See, I'm obsessed with flowers like this, you guys, and put magnets on the back. So I ripped this off of some really crappy, cheap cardboard box that somebody was going to decorate, and they never did. But they glued these on there, so I ripped these off to put magnets on the back. Um, so I got that. I looked these up. This is like from 2008 Mattel, you know, Barbie... They don't make them or what she passed away or something not too long ago not too long ago i don't know what i'm talking about you guys anyways these are just some barbie playing cards and i only saw like two or three listed on ebay so i went ahead and got these because they are they do sell the only bummer was is i didn't count how many cards were in here and i don't even know how many common or how many cards are in a common deck do y'all how many cards are in a deck? Not sure. All I have to do is Google it. Okay. So, I got this vintage toy set. I have never seen it in my life. That's why I got this. And it's super old. I don't even know what year yet, but we'll find out here in just a second since I found the original box. Um, you're welcome. And 52, what's 52? I'm lost. <laughs> uh, that shoe goo works great for shoes. I've fixed a bunch of shoes. Well, I tried to glue a shoe, a leather one, and I have to go back and redo it because it didn't, the shoe goo didn't glue it as good. So it was the first time I used the shoe goo for what it's supposed to be used was yesterday or the day before. And I need to still glue it again because it didn't glue all the way. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> One thing at a time, Heather. Okay, so let me show you guys this. So it is called Precious Places. Uh, apparently it has these keys. I did find like three or four keys. My chat is way off over here. Hold on. Oh, 52. Yay. Thank you. I totally forgot. Love you. Yard, yard sale lover. <laughs> yard sale lover. Awesome. Crafters will buy them still. Um, now I'm lost on what crafters will buy. Uh, okay. Um, E6000 would work better to glue. Hmm. I have the E6000 too. I feel like it would have worked better than this shoe glue. We'll try it one more time. But the way this leather is angling, I'm not sure the shoe goo is going to fix it. So that's that's smart. I should maybe try the E6000 because they're really nice shoes. Okay, very cool set of fe fe featuring a magnetic key. You use a key to turn on lights. Um, is there If there is not enough cards to play. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used a yard sale lever. I used a, pay, a clothespin to keep the leather tight, but I don't think it was tight enough, so that's why I have to redo it. Um, oh, cool. It does have the parrots. I got two parrots. I got two, like, cats or dogs. I don't know. I got a couple, a lot of little pieces, but I have, like, three or four houses. I'll show you all. Never have I seen this. So you use the key to move figures that's cool um and then you use a key to open doors so i know the door does have a magnet i'll show you guys um but inside here again i have like some of the animals i have um all kinds of little goodies in here full um so there's this section um let's see i'm gonna get you guys a key though Shoot, I've got stuff everywhere here. Where's the key? Here it is. Here's two of them. They're magnetic. Super cool. I need to find the year on these. 
what year is it? Here we go. 1988. I mean, I was born in 83, so I mean, I never saw these. I don't remember this at all. So, Fisher Price, too, right? Um, I did look these up. They do sell, like, if you have the really nice big houses, but I do have four houses. So I'm gonna bundle them all together probably on eBay and sell them. Okay, y'all ready? So, I don't know how, oh look. <laughs> it's got like a little key turning, 28 years old. These, nice, yeah. So I, I love stuff like this. And you don't see these ever. I never see these at the Goodwill bins ever. What's this? So this opens, don't break it, Heather, right? I gotta go get my kid in 30 minutes. I think we'll make it, you guys. Okay, anyways, we'll just, uh, let's see if I can open the door. So, yeah, so it's magnetic. Super cool. Look, it's got like a letter slot or some crap. What is that? Is your key in there? <laughs> Anywho, oh, look. Can you open it up? It's a little mini house. Who does not think that's cool? So you put batteries in the top and in here. Oh, you guys, I'm going to get some batteries. Hold on. We're going to play if I have time. Let me show you the rest of this hard goods and I'll get the batteries. I'm obsessed with this cheap plastic folder. Check it out. It's got a little Ziploc bag here. Open it up. It's got the pockets and it's got clear uh, sections too. I love this. Uh, this is great for my paperwork contracts and stuff like that. I love this thing. I've never even seen them. There's that. Found some nobody's gonna guess what this is great those will be great for the fourth quarter okay the house is cool i hope so so oh, where's my piece it popped out no oh yay it's like the main piece is gone so i'm interested to look this up i should have looked it up this probably isn't worth anything i don't know you guys tell me if you want to look it up um, but I thought it was cool because I never find hearing aids, right? This is like a hearing aid kit. Opticon people first. It's just this. It's not that heavy either. So it has a thing that slides out. So the first thing that I saw, I slid this out and I'm like, okay, well, this has to open, right? It's grippy right here. It's got grips. So I'm like, how do you get it? So I open it and lo and behold, I haven't touched in here. It's like so gross. I'll probably use gloves. There are two hearing aids in here, you guys. Creepy, right? Super creepy. Never have I found hearing aids like that. And it has the complete like box instructions and everything. So somebody's got to be able to use these and I hope I find the right person for it. Um, it's got like the store that it came from here locally. Um, it's got everything in here. I can't get that stupid card, all the instructions, everything. So I'm not sure if this was a waste of my money, but hopefully it wasn't. Okay. These don't go for much, you guys, but this little leather case is super cool. It's a Sony camera. I usually kind of throw these back, but since the case is like excellent, I opened it up and I um, see the camera and I'm like, nice. And it's a Sony. Like, yeah, really nice um, camera. So let's see if the memory card is in there. I didn't even check. It is. Oh, it's one of those older ones. That's a bummer. So, or whatever. It's a two gigabyte memory thing. Memory card. But you know what? Okay, it just takes regular batteries. Like the ones I'm about to go get for you guys. Okay, so I don't know. I took a risk on this. Went ahead and got it. 
Okay, I found another little people to add to my collection. Well, hearing aids are very expensive, right? I, what is the resale on them? I don't know. I'm not sure. Set my little people up and I'm gonna grab the batteries. We're gonna check these toys out. Anybody who has kids, we started buying these Sam's Members Mark batteries. Boy, howdy, that's a shitload of batteries for like 10 bucks or something we paid for that. It's awesome. How cute. There were birds on the window. Next time I'll have to show you guys if they're come back. Okay, so you don't, I wonder if you have to have like that license or something like that to sell medical aids on eBay. Do you? Or have to be like approved. I'll sell that shit on Poshmark any day, right? Mm, joking. <laughs> okay, so this is the pink one. I don't know if I showed it to y'all, but this one's going to be easier to put in the batteries than the, um, purple one over there because on this one you pop off the lid and then you just pop these in come on don't fail me house we need to work okay i can't wait to use the key <laughs> oh cool you don't have to have a license or nothing that's awesome thank you for looking that up i wouldn't have known and i probably would have gotten scared to sell them on ebay because i would have thought you had to have that like license okay so you pop these suckers on let's put the house together let's just go on. okay nope sideways holy moly this is difficult it's because y'all are watching me okay my phone's ringing it's a telemarketer Come on, house. Is this even the go to the right one? It's pink, right? Well, anywho, let's just see. Do I have to have a certain key? Oh, hell, I don't. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Maybe the light bulb blew out. Okay, you can remove and install new light bulbs. Push inner tab and rotate to remove. That'd be cool, right? To buy the replacement lights. I don't know how to turn it on. <gasps> okay, let's try another one. I can use my Bloody Mary's. I wonder if the light bulb crap you guys. So irritating. So irritating. <clears throat> okay, we got it. Okay, let's try another one. This is like taking forever. Okay, we're gonna put this one over here. Oh, it's got a little chicken in the picture. Okay, so I have one, two. That's so cute with the door. And then oh, that one's blue, but that's got purple. So that purple one goes to this one, and the blue one goes to that one. Okay, let's try this one since the lid's already off. I bet it's the key. Anybody know? You use the key to turn on the light. I don't know. God, these are a tight fit. This is disappointing. Oh, it works! Yay! We have light. You're cra I know. I'm so so irritating. I know for real though. And then this one's like a two-story sectional. I don't know. It's by itself. So, 
Yeah. We have a light, you guys. Hold on, let's fix up. Well, it has a purple key lock, so maybe this blue one will go on this one. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, these are so cute! Hold on, let me turn off the light. Kind of. Look at that! Oh, it's so adorable! My mommy never bought me nothing cute like that. I just have Barbie dolls. <laughs> OMG. <coughs> so freaking cute. Love it. So cool. Okay, guys, I'm done. Okay, I'm really done. Maybe I had to have the magic key, right? It's got horses and it says the precious places so awesome I'm pretty sure I have one more key luckily so it's probably in the bottom of that stuff okay guys I think all I have is luckily I didn't overwhelm myself with clothes well they I mean Kind of, they look like they're color-coded keys, Casey. So, like, this one's blue, just like that house. And then this one's purple, just like that one. And I'm pretty sure I used the one, the same color on the one that we turned on. So, I know I've already taken a lot of time on this, so we'll just move along. But, I don't know. I doubt they're color-coded because it's just a plastic hole and you just shove the little key and turn it didn't really seem like it had any way to detect the color so this is gonna be awesome um, in case y'all haven't heard one of these days I'm gonna have a huge Halloween party I'm waiting for my five-year-old to get bigger so that we can have a creepy scary like all-out like huge big Halloween party I've never had one before, but I want to decorate my house and everything and just invite like everybody that I ever know because I'm a social bug or whatever, butterfly, whatever you would call it. Um, so this will be cool. It's like uh, what I saw was I saw someone's name tag and I was like, somebody left their name tag. And then it says this VIP uh, mad scientist. And so it's got the mad scientist on the back at the discovery center and even if we decked this out with like didn't paint it we could dress up for halloween with it or we could put blood all over it you know and be like a scary scientist or something so that'll be cool you want to see my lula row piece it was hard to see that it was lula row um i was watching somebody else say this i don't know her name because i don't watch her that often but i did check her out yesterday on youtube um, she was saying she found a, well, she goes to the Goodwill, um, like thrift stores where they hang up the clothes. She's like, yeah, nobody could see the tag because the way it was hanging up, it was the opposite way instead of having the tag <clears throat> like this to where when you pulled it down, you could see the brand. So that's the way this was. It was like creased and folded kind of like that. And it doesn't. I didn't know LuLaRoe had these cute pencil skirts. It's orange and it's super stretchy. So my big butt could fit in this super comfortable and you can like move in it. Um, so I was super excited to see that it was a LuLaRoe piece, which I've never sold these for good money, but I hear everybody else talk about it. Certain pieces do, but Love it. It's flawless. There's not a single thing wrong with it. It is the cutest, sexiest skirt ever. I love it. But I'm not keeping it because I don't wear skirts. Um, and then I got this like bra top. It's a huge bow and it's by the brand Poetry. 
So I got that to sell real cheap. Seemed like it was in really good condition. <clears throat> That's a bummer. It doesn't have a size tag. Huge bummer. Oh no, there it is. It's a small. Okay, so on that same girl that I was just talking about, the LuLaRoe, she made a good point. I'm going to tell you guys who she is because she's been doing videos for a long time. Bandino top. Okay, I don't never use that. Very good to know. I'll look at my history. Uh, so what is it? Home. My channel, is that where you go? I always get confused navigating because it's okay, different from your cell phones. Um, it is the or it's the queen of thrift. She made a good point. Um, so she had said in one of her videos that she picks up scarves a lot. And she uses them as stuffing in the packages. Um, and then, you know, they're great, like, as a little free gift or whatever. So I did pick up this orange scarf, and it is fall and october -y. So I picked this one up. But I think I will. I loved her tip. Like, I freaking love YouTube. Love it, you guys. I love learning new stuff from other people and what they incorporate. You know, we don't always agree with everything that everybody does, but you can take bits and pieces from people. Um, so I am going to start picking up really lightweight. This one's kind of a little bit heavier, but you know those thinner ones, they weigh like nothing. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing that because um, I'd rather keep my tissue paper for like birthday parties and Christmas and I use a lot of tissue paper sometimes to protect my items that I ship. Um, I didn't look up this skirt. Y'all know I don't like to sell skirts, but I only do if they're super unique. It's been a long time since you've made a YouTube video. They're tough. I, I don't even want to make YouTube videos when I don't have makeup on. Like I keep looking at myself and I judge it and I don't talk about it because I know it's stupid to, you know knock yourself but like sometimes I don't even want to make videos because I don't have makeup or I feel like I look like crap so this is called loudmouth ladies and I never see this brand and the what is it houndstooth is that what you call that um it's pretty popular and it's super clean um and really thick fabric so it's quality made um I think just the brand loudmouth was cool <clears throat> so it's probably like a skater brand or something like that so got that nothing too special in the rest of all this just basic you know um good stuff to sell this was just too cute to pass up it reminded me like of a hippie crop top shirt <clears throat> it's sacred threads and it's 100% uh, rayon, it's made in India. But it's this cute, like I said, crop top patchwork. Super funky, I saw the elephant, had to have it like India based or whatever, super cool. If I had like that super non-mom <clears throat> non tummy, I'd totally wear this as like a young teenager or something, you know? I think my voice is uh, like crackly from the concert last night. <laughs> so funny. Uh, okay, I hate selling skirts, but hey, they're easier to list than pants because um, it's just one square. You don't have to lay out a long thing or it's easier to list than dresses. Um, roses are super fun and popular right now, and this is in excellent condition. And the tag kind of alarmed me a little. Anna Bella. It's a kind of an expensive looking tag. A little bit. Not sure who makes it. I went ahead and picked it up because it's so pretty. <clears throat> They're bringing out another row. And I was on the sidelines. 
uh, cute things. Yeah, there's always cute things, but can't buy everything, huh? So anyways, um, thank you, Casey Lakeman. Um, I'm on the sidelines waiting for a bend to come, and I see a Hispanic guy that I talk to all the time up there. And he picked this up, and I just saw the, like, chambray kind of, like, color. And I, I saw him throw it, and I had to go get it. And I'm glad I did, because it's I think it's prettier than what this picture is pulling up. But it's got that cute ruffle bottom. It reminds me of the lingerie top. What's it called? I don't know what it's called. But look at the tag. Super fancy. It's called Goddess of Babylon. Ooh. Can I show you guys something? I'm going to show you guys something. I did a haul yesterday, right? Okay. And I found a bunch of anthropology pieces. And I ain't going to lie. I was late going to the concert. <laughs> I mean, we were late, literally. And I was late getting dressed and everything. I didn't wash the shirt from the bins, you guys. I totally wore <laughs> it. I totally wore it. Okay, don't judge me. But this picture is going to blow you away because I look gorgeous in it. Um, let me show you the picture of me styling it. Look at that. It's like this cute boho hippie. <laughs> Is that not the cutest freaking shirt ever? Loved it on. Let me show you my selfie. I got this necklace and bracelet set at Walmart, and I bought it purposely for the concert. That's me with makeup on. But I have a matching thick glitter bracelet. Super cute shirt, right? And that's why I had to go back to the bins today. I was like, oh my God, the pieces I found and did a haul. I guess the haul I did yesterday was like an hour, two hours long. Um, I had found the most amazing pieces. This shirt in particular. Um, I was like, oh, I'm so addicted to shopping and going back to the store to good, Goodwill bins. Loved it. I didn't even wash it. Thank you. Love it. <laughs> totally different from what I look like right now. Um, okay. So immediately when I picked this up, I don't know why I could just tell the, the fabric and the string. I already knew what brand this was before I looked at the tag. That's nice. I knew right off the bat that this, and I knew from this stitching right here, that this was Flying Tomato. And it's not a super expensive brand, but they make super cute clothes. I always pick them up, even if they don't sell for a lot, <clears throat> because it's something that I would have loved to have had in a store if I had, you know, the money to buy this kind of stuff brand new. Like these are like $100 dresses and under. So it's super cute. Um, Crazy that I knew it was flying tomato before I even looked. I think I had saw even a part of that tag down here like that before I saw that. So that's cute. Just a couple more pieces. <clears throat> Two, three, what time is it? We're a perfect timing, you guys. Okay, so. I thought this was just a skirt, but it turned out that these are shorts, and I had to have them after I, uh, it's a dress. Um, oh, the, the, what I'm wearing, the pink one in the pictures is just a shirt, but that was a dress. Yes, the Flying Tomatoes, Casey Lightman. Um, but these are shorts, you guys, and... They are all spandex around the whole freaking waist, so I'm going to love these. I'm going to keep them, but I got them to resell originally because they are Billa, and Billa stands for Billabong, and that's a super expensive skater brand, or not necessarily skater, it's skater slash surfer brand. Um, what size are these? They're like, a, yeah, a large. They're perfect for me. 
And luckily, they're not too freaking short. Like, they actually have some freaking inseam in it. So that is great. Okay, next item is this funky donkey. Funky donkey, I know that doesn't make sense. It's a wiener dog. Um, I don't like this. I don't think it's cool at all. I wouldn't wear it. But I know I have a friend and she loves her freaking wiener dog. And people who have wiener dogs love them. So I had to get this because it's in perfect condition, as you can see from the video here. Trey Schick. I don't know what that means. <laughs> You're getting all fancy on me. Um, that's super cute. Can't wait to listen on Poshmark. Next item is, I noticed Gap. The Gap brands do sell pretty good for me on Poshmark. Um, and this thing feels like it's a million years old, like something from the 80s or something. But I assumed it was wool. So it's a Gap sweater with pockets. Or it's like a cardigan, though, because it only ha it has one button, and that's it. Where's the fabric content? There it is. It is 100% lamb's wool. So, yeah, someone who's allergic to polyester will probably love this, maybe. And I found an anthropology piece, I believe. Yeah, staring at this, at, at the, it's just, um, oh, that's French. Gotcha. Oh, I love it. It will sell. Cool. Yeah, it's super cute. I thought so, too. Um, that girl I had mentioned earlier, my history on um, the Queen of Thrift. She had mentioned something to kind of like if something is not if like don't buy stuff that you wouldn't wear yourself if you not always, but she's got a really good point. Um, so if it's something I would wear, I try to pick it up because if I like it, I know somebody else would like it, too. It's kind of what she said as well. So staring at the stars, um, it's this really cute like summer lace dress, crochet, super cute. I looked it over, I didn't see stains. I mean, it's got a little bit of wear. Actually, there's a little bit of staining, so I will actually um, pre-treat it right here <clears throat> and see if it comes out. So. You can barely even see it, so it's super cool. We'll wash it. That's the only time I wash stuff, so. Uh, the Gap Jacket reminds you of a cape style. Cape style. Okay. Interesting. Isn't this pretty? This pink, baby pink coral kind of tie-dye. Oh, man. I, anyone would look hot in this, right? Um, <clears throat> a wedding dress. This one? Really? Oh, the white one. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That too. Yeah. Simple wedding dress. <clears throat> this is a Gianna, Gianni beanie. It's a small, but I don't get it. Is this supposed to be the tube up here? Because it's a long maxi dress, but I don't like this top part. I only got it for nice for the beach. Yeah, I only got it because I love this tie dye. Super hippie like. Um, yeah, I don't like it. Which me, I don't like. I don't know. I can't. I have to wear like a, a bra or something with this. So yeah, this would be some bit for somebody who doesn't wear bras. So I won't be keeping this, but it's super heavy. So I did pay up for it. I wonder if it's 100% cotton. Probably not. Modal. Does anybody know what that means? 95% modal. I don't even know what that means. I see that a lot. Thrifting. Like, is it cotton or what is it? It is supposed to drape the top. Okay, yeah. So, and then spandex. So, super cute. 
I don't like the top personally, but it's probably co a cotton blend. Huh. I didn't never know that. Yeah, I think it's totally for somebody who doesn't have to wear a bra, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know. It's not my kind of style. I don't know, but it would be super cute on. I love this color. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching my video. I do appreciate it. Sincerely. It takes a lot of my time to do these videos, even though I know I do extremely long ones. There's another telemarketer calling me. Why? Why? Okay. Peace out. See y'all later. Hopefully we'll do a listing video soon. Bye, guys.